I'm Danny Minnick, this is my brother Billy Minnick, and we farm as Minnick Farms. We're located in Stewart and Webster County. We farm about 1,500 acres that is divided up between wheat, cotton, peanuts, and corn. We're fourth generation farmers. Uh, to me, we just, it's in our blood. Uh, we started farming at a young age. Our dad got us out when we were 10 or 11 years old. Uh, we'd spend most of the summers working with him, and it's just kind of, that's how we've grown up. And it's been a great life. We've had some really good memories uh, farming. Some of them are not so good. Some of them are really pleasant, uh, but it's, it's been very enjoyable. Well, I mean, farmers right now are challenged with a lot, a lot of obstacles. I mean, one, you have the weather element. Uh, we try to mitigate that as much as possible through irrigation. And then uh, this year we've had supply chain issues trying to get equipment parts have been delays. Uh, escalated fuel prices and input costs have been a very big challenge this year and the continued volatility in the marketing side on the commodity prices. We're seeing vast swings on a daily basis, not like it used to be where you'd have some swings that'll be monthly or even yearly, we're seeing the swings now daily. Well, you wake up with a plan every morning, by 7.30 it's usually all messed up. We uh, just got to do whatever is necessary during the day. It's not, you can't farm with a handbook. It don't, it don't work that way. You don't have a passion, you, you don't need to get into this business. It's, it's a tough business, but it's a great business to, to, to raise a family. You get to spend that time with your children out here working in it together. It's truly a family affair. Um, for me, I'm more on the finance side, really watch your debt. Uh, you don't want to get leveraged up too much. Um, on the mechanical side, if you can learn any tricks or any tools to the trade to learn how to fix your own equipment, you're going to really cut your input costs down a lot and make your operation a lot more efficient. And then just, you gotta have a love for it. You gotta have a love for it to be in this business.